Well, back home, of course, uh, the opposition is talking about the constitutional aspects uh, of passing uh, this new law and, of course, abrogating Article 370 and 35A. Uh, we are now joined by Geeta Luthra, senior lawyer from New Delhi. Now, uh, Ms. Luthra, a very bold decision by the government uh, with, you know, far-reaching implications. How do you view this legally uh, in, in terms of uh, the constitutional aspects of, the, of what's happened today? There are two views. One view is it's not part of basic structure, so it's just, you know, you are bringing in these bills and it's in order. The other aspect would be, do you think that you need to make it as an amendment with two-thirds of majority? The other aspect is basic structure. Is it abrogating the basic structure? So what aspect of the basic structure that you are making what is a state into a union territory and therefore going against the federal structure and going towards a unitary system rather than a federal system of government. Now these are aspects which will come up in any debate on the efficacy or the constitutionality of what has happened today. Hmm. Whatever. It's a historic oh, okay. day. So, uh, okay, so you're saying it is a historic day. The efficacy of the law, of course, will be questioned. But is there any weight then to the arguments being made by the opposition that this is an unconstitutional move, that, uh, you know, it needs the ratification of parliament? Of course, it was being discussed in parliament today. It's been passed in one in the upper house already by 165 by, uh, to 62 votes. So what, are, what do you think about the arguments being put forth by the opposition? So according to me, the federalism argument may go some way. Um, Kashmir had a se uh, separate status. That status was temporary. So the argument for those who do not agree with what has been done will say that Kashmir had a separate special status and that status has been taken away. You, want, you are talking about a federal system and you are in fact going the other way and federalism is part of our basic structure. So those are going to be their major arguments. The other argument is this is an amendment. Should it have been done by two-third majority? Should it be treated as an amendment or can you actually just by a president notifying it and by a bill actually bring these uh, amendments into parliament? So these are the questions which will be said, stated by the other side. But I think uh, all said and done, its pr constitutionality will probably be upheld.